Hey everyone, welcome back to Coinology. Today I wanted to go over Caspa, uh, the price, what GPUs you should be using to mine Caspa, um, what is Caspa, why is everybody talking about it, what is the hype about, um, and then also what wallets to mine it to. So looking over at the price right now, we're down. Uh, we were sitting up at four cents for like a day and now it's obviously crashing. I think everybody has made a profit and it's time to, you know, make some money back. And I think that's what's going on right now. I think it will go back up. Obviously Nexa is also pumping right now. Um, I don't really trust the Nexas, the Dynexes, um, I don't trust those. I do trust Caspa and what they're doing. Um, let's take a look at what the GPUs are doing right now. Um, it looks like everything is pumping on Nexa right now, but like I said, unless you're mining from Nexa into Bitcoin on something like Zerg Pool, I, I would stay away from Nexa. This is not financial advice, it's just what I think. Um, but still right now on a 3090, it says that you're profiting 55 cents. Um, let's see, 3070s are 31 cents. Down in the 20 series, 26 cents. I own a couple 2060s, this one's uh, 14 cents. You've got your 1660s here and uh 17 cents with the ti 14 cents with the regular 1660s so we're getting to a point now where we're coming back into profitability obviously we're gonna kind of hang on the edge with people coming back online that left during the ethereum merge um but looking over at the gpus this is going to be a list on uh, hashrate.no of the most profitable gpus as far as uh, mining profit and obviously the 4090 just dominates it's two dollars in profit right now um, you have others down here if you're if you're looking to get in at a little bit more of an entry level point um, you know something like a 3070 you can go pick that up off the shelf right now and you're profiting 42 cents uh, after electricity um, Jumping over to the Caspa website, there is some information. It's all right. Um, obviously, just kind of a lot of big words. Um, I have taken a little bit of a look at it. Now, I do really like that they are essentially doxing themselves with Caspa, which means that these guys fully back this. I mean, this is something that they're putting their life into. Um, you know, so that's very exciting. And then um, I went over here to uh, CoinGecko just to read a little bit more about Caspa. Um, key takeaways: so Caspa has the cap cap excuse me the capability to facilitate high block rates while preserving the level of security provided by proof of work consensus mechanisms. Caspa instant block times facil facilitate pre-trade privacy and anonymous transactions protecting users from exploitation such as manipulation of transaction ordering. So simply put, Caspa is an instantaneous validation transaction sequencing layer. This means that the miners can promptly include transaction requests into the blockchain supporting non-contemporary state updates. Essentially, Caspa uses the Phantom Protocol, a scalable simplification of the Bitcoin consensus. Caspa also leverages Bitcoin's proof of work UTXO based isolated state deflationary financial policy and has no pre-mining and central governance. That was something that really got me into Caspa was that it's essentially using all the same values as Bitcoin. It wants to be identical to Bitcoin, but also uh, find solutions to the problems that Bitcoin still has. Um, 
So what is Caspa? Caspa describes itself as the fastest and most scalable level one instant validation transaction layer leveraging a proof of, work, proof of work consensus mechanism. It's based on the Ghost DAG Phantom Protocol, a scalable generalization of the Bitcoin consensus, implying it's theoretical as secure as Bitcoin since it draws no extra assumptions. Instead of abandoning parallel blocks like the le legacy blockchains, Phantom lets them coexist and arranges them in consensus. Generally, Caspa is the Bitcoin consensus in its simplest form. To achieve full decentralization, Caspa is community-based and open source. So that's something that I think is very cool about Caspa is that um, it's the, the ghost DAG, the Phantom Protocol. Now, this is something that um, the founders of Ethereum have placed in the white paper or as far as a goal for them. Um, I think that this technology is wonderful because it essentially, down here you can read, a um, therefore a 51% attack essentially requires less than 51% of computation power. This literally appears to be a small issue. There's a slight difference between 5001 and 49.99 attacker. The problem arises when developers increase the network throughput by improving the block rate or size. They in inevitably increase the isolation rent hence undermining network security. So CASPA is not at risk uh, of these 51% attacks from what I understand. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then like I was saying, um, you know, Yonatan Simplisky uh, and his ghost DAG protocol were mentioned in the Ethereum white paper. So these guys are already doing what Ethereum can't do. Uh, there are, I mean, we've seen Ethereum fail at multiple things at multiple different times. They never meet their deadlines. These guys are already doing it. So now as far as wallets, um, I know everybody is jumping on the Zellcore train now that Zellcore allows um, Caspa, but Zellcore to me, can be kind of sketchy and I think it can be compromised. Um, I know that I believe DJ Mines was one of the people that were hacked uh, when Zellcore had some issues. Um, that's not something I want to chance, especially this is an investment. I'm, you know, buying hardware. I'm paying an electricity bill out of pocket. I don't want my Caspa to be taken from me. I want my investment to come through and I want to be able to sell it when I want to sell it. Um, I would definitely recommend the original Caspa wallet. It's wallet.caspapanit.io. Uh, um, basically, you just create a new wallet and it does have a seed phrase. Um, so you have your, your 12 word seed phrase and then you have your password. So there's just there's a, there's, there's a layer of safety. Now, you obviously could still get hacked. I mean, this isn't a ledger. You're not pulling completely off the internet, but I personally believe that it is safer than Zellcor as far as wallets. Um, now, for wallets, of course, you can go with Zellcor. For me, I keep my Flux in there uh, just out of ease of use. Um, I mean, I don't fully trust it. So do whatever you will with that information, but is what it is. So jumping over to my hive. Um, doing some cleaning on the L3, but the L3 plus plus, I have it on a higher hash rate today. Um, I have it on unminable, I mining into Caspa. I have three rigs also on Caspa. One of these GPUs is down. I'm, uh, it was overheating, so I'm cleaning that as well. Uh, but yeah, just mining Caspa. And uh, that's really all I have for you today. But please, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about Caspa, um, let me know. Um, and then if you can, like, comment, and please subscribe. That really helps the channel. It helps support me. It gives me a reason to wake up and make these videos. But thank you guys. Have a good night.